Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, back today with another Geometry Node. And this one I've been wanting to do for a long, long time, because we all know how difficult it is to make boats and ships and things like that, especially the hull. Getting the hull to be the right size that you want, the right shape and all of that stuff, takes hours of work. But luckily, we've actually made a Geometry Node that does all of that hard work for you. So if you want to grab this geometry node for free, along with all of our thousands of hours of course content, check out our Patreon, it's down below. But enough of all that, let's get started with this boat geometry node. So the first thing I'm going to do, it works with any shape, so just press Shift A, bring in a plane, let's say. Let's go over then and add in our geometry node. So add modifier, geometry node, click little down arrow, bolt, hull, and there we go. It does come in with a couple of materials already set up for you, but you can, of course, change them over. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this up to show you actually how to use this. So we have all of these options here. Let's stick to the main one. So first of all, you want to be able to control the actual resolution. Some of you out there might want an extremely low resolution if you're working on mobile games. And if you're going for more of a realism, then of course you want to turn this up. Here is where you can actually change your material over. So you can change material on the fly to see exactly where it looks like. Now, the other thing is I'm actually doing this in real time in actual Blender Cycles. So you can see how lightweight this is as well. So first of all, we can change the actual height of the ship. As you can see, we can change the width like so. We can also come down and change the bottom length. So you can see here, I can actually change that shape of the bottom length like so. I can also as well bring out jaws the top of it like so. So we've got the bottom length and the top length. And of course, we've also got the thickness on here. So I can bring the thickness of this boat out like so. Next of all, then we've got the front and we've got the back. Let's do these both together. So let's say you're working on something where you need a kind of an elven theme or something like that. Well, you can actually turn up the back like so, turn up the front like so, and you can do these independently from each other. The other great thing is, let's say you want to swap this then to a speedboat, something a little bit more realistic. Let's come then and change this from round to actual square. And there you go. You can see now you're starting to form something like that. We can also as well change that as well on the fly. And of course, we can actually widen it as well. While we're doing that, of course, we can also bring out our boat and change it to our heart's desire across all of these perimeters in real time at the same time. So nothing's going to hinder you if you change this to, let's say, a square and you want to move the main settings, you still can do, of course. Let's just change that back then to now to put it back to round. And then what we'll do is we'll just bring this one out a little bit to have something like this. All right, then. So what I'm going to do now is just come down to the timber. Now we have put the option in to actually add in timber because I think it makes it easy for you either to stylize it yourself. So work off the timber that's already there or just use the one that we've provided. So you can see when I enable this, you've actually got timber that goes down the side of the boat, comes around and all the way up and actually goes on the inside as well. Now, the other thing is we've made an option so you can do it inside. So just the inside or the outside. So let's say that you want in your boat to have, you know, a texture that's going down the side of it. Well, you can do that now because then you don't need to focus on the inside as much. And the other thing is we can increase the count of these timber parts as so all again in real time. Now we can also increase the size of these so we can have them really, really chunky or really, you know, kind of small and dinky if you want completely up to you. Now, of course, you can't finish a boat without having the capping on. So let's come down then and go to the capping. So if I enable this now, you can see how easy it is to put that on. And you will, of course, see the moment that I change the height offset, the capping actually moves along with it. So we can see all of these things move along with it. You can see you've got some beautiful curves on there already. Um, of course, with the capping as well, we're able to change, not that one. Let's go back to the capping. We're able to change the uh, size of the capping again on the fly. Now let's come down to the final part then, which is going to be the keel. And let's enable the keel like so. Again, it will come in with material as standard. Now you will think that, oh, it's clipping through there, but we are able to come in and change the size of the actual clip, um, the keel like so. 
and we're also able with the kill to do a lot of other stuff as well so first of all let's come in and change the front so let's extend the front like so and let's make the front just the front scale a little bit bigger like so and now you can see that's already looking pretty nice now let's do the same to the back we're able to bring it down or up so let's extend the back out just a little bit let's extend that scale out just a tad like so and you can see already in a few seconds what i've actually got here again once all this is on you can still come in and change the width if you want to so you can bring the width out like so and you can see everything changes in real time for you the one thing we can also do with the keel is we can also change the offset so if i want to bring that in for instance and just have it in the front i'm able to do that and if i want to bring it all the way out and have it just on the front of the boat like so i'm also able to do that so completely changing the way that you do your workflow when you're creating boats with this actual geometry node now the best thing is as well we're not finished yet there's a little bit more and that is you're also able to animate this so if i come over to my layout let's put it on to real time again just to show you it's in real time let's go over to the geometry node i'm just going to pull this up a little bit let's say i want this boat then to morph into something um a little bit thinner or wider it's completely up to you so let's start with it quite thin so something like this and we're able to change all of these absolutely everything on here you are actually able to change even down to whether you want it round or whether you want it square you're able to change that so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come to the actual width i'm going to change that i'm going to change the height as well i'm going to change that like so and then what i'm going to do now if i click on it you'll see already we've actually got two keys in there already so let's now go to 80 and then all i'm going to do is just change these back down so i'll change it to this i'll make it a little bit wider like so click on them again and then let's go back give that a try press the space bar and there you go in real time in actual cycles because it is so lightweight so as you can see this boat geometry node is going to be one of those nodes that you just won't be able to do without or if you're working on ships or you're working on a harbor or something like that you're definitely going to want to pick up this geometry node we have made it as cheap as we possibly can and we've also made a commercial license available with this as well and the links will be down below Give us a like and subscribe if you like the content we're putting out. And now what I'll do is I'll play a short video showing all the stuff that's available just by joining our Patreon. Alright everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot, happy modelling, bye bye. Hey everyone, do you want to have access to hundreds of Blender products every single month? Then check out our brand new Patreon which is probably the best in the industry, especially for beginners to Blender. Best of all, we now have four Patreon levels, pretty much for any budget. Or if you just wanna follow us over there for the latest news on 3D Tudor, then that's also fine. So let's now take a look at these ranks and stay till the end to find out what we really have to offer. So rank one is all about just supporting us at five euros per month. And this is just to say a big thanks for everything that we do here. Rank two at 10 euros per month comes with a free course every single month. And if you've seen the scenes that we've been creating here on YouTube, where you can get your hands on any of these for absolutely free and you will get your name featured at the end credits of all of our YouTube videos. Moving on and stepping it up to rank three, at 19 euros 50 per month, you get pretty much the same as you did in rank two, but this time we also give you two geometry nodes per month absolutely free and moving on to the big one which is rank four the top tier that we have at 48 euros 50 per month and you pretty much get the whole shebang two free courses per month any of our geometry nodes any of our model packs any of our youtube themes but best of all you also get the complete asset manager file complete with our entire library of compositors materials and assets and this will just keep growing so whatever your budget there's never been a better time to support us here at 3d tudor and i think we provide one of the best patrons in the industry so head on over check out our patreon follow us over there for the latest news and if you can we'd be very grateful for any support large or small